Hey guys, this is Hans Lim for Banner Media. And today we're talking about the new Pope. Now after three long years, we finally get the revival of Paolo Sorrentino's The New Pope. Paolo Sorrentino's Pope was originally slated to be a miniseries but was, you know, revived for a second season. Picking up from where we left off with the last season with Pope Pius XIII in a coma, the scheming Voyello ventures to find a replacement. He was able to convince John Brannox, played by John Malkovich, a well-off religious British who spends his days inside a mansion with his snobbish parents. Now the power play that comes from this show is now shifting towards John Brannox and Voyello as they try to rid the church of homosexual scandals and terrorism. And the show has a lot of political ideologies dressed in Roman Catholicism being portrayed on screen. For the majority of the show, Paolo Sorrentino fills the screen with these beautiful visuals and these beautiful composition and imagery with double meaning. When he's not busy showcasing a lot of softcore nudity, now, while some are just really beautiful to look at and are really, really artsy, they just don't feel like they're validated in their long run times. They kind of, you know, feel like filler. But I really quite enjoy how they explored fanaticism here. Especially, you know, with these crowd of devotees going outside where Pope Pius XIII is being kept. This show really lets you see how far some people will go to see a miracle. Now, a newcomer of this show is Bauer. Played by Mark Ivanir, he's very intimidating, he's very mysterious, and very quite powerful as the show has portrayed him, and quite possibly more powerful than Voyello himself. I really enjoyed the banter between Voyello and Bauer in here as they try to scheme whenever they meet privately. Now, John Brannox, who is played by John Malkovich, has a lot of similarities with Pope Pius XIII, in that they both have no proper relationship or no closure with their parents. And you know, John Malkovich's speech pattern is, is really prevalent here, but sometimes I find it to be quite annoying at some points because it's just really sort of slow and you just, the, the, the show is already slow enough and I just wish that he would talk faster so that we could get more details about the next plot or, or some kind of unraveling. But his charm and his performance is always a welcome experience and it was kind of, it was, at some parts it was charming to see. Real loss for me in the second season is Pius's absence. Because for the majority of this show, you get more screen time with Voyello and John Brannox, but I just really wish that Pius was here because I, I believe that he was the heart of the show. And his miracles and his perspective and his banter with Voyello was what really made this world very interesting to see. After the first season ended, I really wanted to see more of Pius and how he would change the ideologies and the power struggle in this world, how he could convince politicians to go in his favor, how he can mobilize a group of devotees of fanatics for his gain and for the church's gain. John Paul III might be interesting to see with his centrist campaign, but for me, it just wasn't enough. I feel like his character faces what a beginner priest is facing. And I think that we have already explored this ideas and this concept and this situation with the first season and then with him being here. I feel like we're just revisiting a lot of these concepts. No, it's like Pius was like level 3 priest and he was just like level 1. And so he was kind of just, you know, facing what Pius was facing earlier, but, you know, a, a bit different. You enjoy exploring the Vatican politics. This show really does that and it does it well. It does it beautifully. Overall, the new Pope gets a 7 out of 10. Now, if you really enjoyed the first one and then you want to try this one, go ahead. You're going to like it. Just found that it could have been more entertaining if some parts were just cut off or some parts were just more explored on and not lingering. It's a very vague show, to be honest. That's going to do it for me. I'm Hans Lim for Banner Media. See you on the next video.